Let's now take a look at the function y equals x times x plus 2 cubed. We want to know when it's increasing, decreasing, when it's concave up, down, and we want to find while we're at it, its relative maximum and inflection points. We want to deal with increasing and decreasing first because that's dealing with the first derivative. Um, you could multiply this all out, expand everything, and then take the derivative being since y is a polynomial, but it is easier to use the product rule and the chain rule, not because it's easier to take the derivative, but the next step is easier. So I want the derivative of the first, f prime times g times the second, plus the derivative of the, not the second, so just the first one, times the derivative of the second, which is 3x plus 2 squared, chain rule says we need to multiply by the derivative of x plus 2 so that's just 1 and so let's simplify this a little this is x plus 2 q plus 3x x plus 2 square so it doesn't look like a, doesn't look like a very nice polynomial but we remember that we need to set y prime equal to 0 in order to find a critical points Notice that in this function, y prime is never undefined, so we only need to worry about when it's zero. I can factor out x plus 2 square from this whole thing. And then remember not to divide through by any of these factors. If you do, you'll lose roots. Um, it's easier to just factor everything and then look at this and go, oh, it's actually just 4x plus 2. And then now we have the two equations, x plus 2 equals to 0 from the first factor, or the first two factors, but they're the same, and 4x plus 2 equal to 0, that's from the last factor. So x is minus 2, and x is minus 1 half. These are our critical points, so we can now draw a sign chart, x and y prime, making sure that we use y prime and not y double prime. And let's see, x equals, oops, x equals 2 is here, x equals minus a half is here. Let's put in some numbers into f prime and see what it gives us. Remember that we don't actually need to go back to original f prime because, or y prime, because this boxed e expression here is essentially y prime simplified. And it's easier to analyze the factors than to actually do calculations. So let's just use that. If I plug 1 in, I'm going to get 1 plus 2, 3 square, and 4 plus 2, 6. So positive square times positive, that's completely positive. If I put in minus 1 here, I'll get plus 1 square, that's positive, times minus 4 plus 2, that's negative, so plus square times negative is negative. That means decreasing, remember. And then if I plug in something, say, minus 3, I'll get a negative here, and then squaring that, that would be positive. And then 4 times minus 3 is minus 12, so this term is going to be definitely be negative. Positive, negative, gives me a negative. So it's increasing here and it's decreasing in this region. If we look at minus 2, the function is decreasing before and after it, so it's not a max or a min. But in my, at minus 1 half, the function is decreasing and then increasing, so that means this is a relative min. All right, so we have half the problem. Now let's move on to y double prime and find concavity and inflection points. Let's go look at y prime again. y prime is x plus 2q. So let's write that down. y prime is x plus 2 cube plus 3x times x plus 2 square plus 3x times x plus 2 square. Now let's take the derivative of this. Once again, it's, let's not combine these, so 
it's easier for us to factor later. This is 3x plus 2 squared times 1, as before. And now this is 3 times, I, I can do the product rule and then append the 3 from the front and onto it. Derivative of the first 1 times x plus 2 squared. You notice that we have x plus 2s in a lot of terms now. Plus, the first 1, x times 2x plus 2, the derivative of the second times 1. So we can simplify this as 3x plus 2 squared plus 3 times x plus 2 squared plus 2x x plus 2. And now if we set y double prime equal to 0, we notice that there's a 3 in front of the first term and the second term, which is the big term of the brackets. So we can actually just divide through by the 3 and not write it down. So, oops, that's not a cube. That should be a square. It, the problem is much harder with a cube. And now we can combine like terms. 2x plus 2 squared plus 2x x plus 2 equal to 0. And even the 2s go away. We can factor out an x plus 2. So then the first term is x, just x plus 2 and the second term is x. And so we have now x plus 2 times 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. And so x is minus 2 and minus 1. And minus 2, remember, was one of our critical points. It didn't give rise to a max or a min. So it makes sense that its second derivative is 0. Because otherwise, if it was a max or a min, then second derivative would have to be um, negative or positive, respectively. All right, so let's take a look at this and draw the sign chart x, y double prime, minus 2, minus 1. Once again, we can just plug numbers back and do this factor form of um, y double prime. It's not exactly y double prime. It's off by essentially 6, but 6 is a positive number, so it won't affect our results. Let's put in 0 minus 3 halves and say minus 3. If you put in 0, it's clear that this is 2 and this is 2, so that's positive. If you put in minus 3 halves, it's a fraction, but it's still deal doable. Minus 3 halves plus 2, that would be um, positive 1 half times 2 times minus 3 halves is minus 3, so this will be negative, plus times minus is minus, and if we do minus 3 and plug it in here, I'll get minus 1 and minus or a lot, so minus minus, that's plus, so it's concave up here, down here, and up here, oops, that's an up, that's an up. And so these are both inflection points because the concavity changes at both those points. So now we can write down the answer. Um, the function is decreasing up till minus a half. So function is decreasing um, on negative infinity to minus a half. It's increasing on minus a half to infinity, which leads to a relative minimum at x equals minus one half. It's concave down on, let's go back to the sign chart, between minus two and minus one. So minus two, the interval minus two minus one. It's concave up on minus infinity to minus 2 and minus 1 to infinity and its inflection points are at x equals minus 2 and minus 1. So this is the list that gives us everything that we were looking for.